The crash of Luna has been both astonishing and horrific to watch, but what has people absolutely floored and completely confused is the crash of its sister token, a supposed stablecoin called UST. The basic idea of a stablecoin is just that, guaranteed stability. Coins such as USDC, TUSD, USDP, and UST come with this very promise. UST, however, has one major difference. Unlike USDC, UST is not a fiat-backed currency. A fiat-backed coin is one that is directly backed by a traditional currency. Augment is a stablecoin backed one-to-one -one by the Euro. Gemini Dollar is backed one-to-one -one by the American Dollar. UST, however, is known as an algorithmically based stablecoin. Now, these algorithmic stablecoins, unlike a fiat-backed stablecoin, have their value pegged directly to the value of another cryptocurrency. In the case of UST, the sister token that its value was pegged to was Luna. Users of Luna had the option to trade 1 USD worth of Luna for 1 UST. This in turn would burn that Luna token minting a brand new UST. This feature was meant to hold the stablecoin at $1, as if the price of UST rose above $1 even by a penny, users could activate a profitable trade by burning one Luna or $1 worth of Luna in exchange for minting a UST token that would be worth a dollar and a penny. Now, likewise, if the price of UST ever depegged or dipped below a dollar, users could then trade 99 cent UST token for $1 worth of Luna, making that very same 1% on an opposite transaction. But with an algorithm like this in place to keep the price stable, what exactly happened? Well, that's what we're going to explore. Back in March, Do Kwon, the founder of Luna and UST, announced that he would be acquiring 10,000 Bitcoin through his Luna Foundation Guard, or LFG, to back UST in the event something were to go awry. Around the same time, an anonymous buyer bought up 100,000 Bitcoin, which was sold into Do Kwon's accumulation. This, in turn, created a $4 billion short position in Bitcoin held by this anonymous source, while they also accumulated $1 billion worth of UST. With the knowledge that LFG would liquidate its Bitcoin reserves in the case that anything ever threatened UST, this left this anonymous trader in a very lucrative position. On May 8th, Do Kwon and LFG pull $150 million of liquidity in anticipation of this de-pegging. Simultaneously, this anonymous source also liquidated $350 million of UST, causing an initial loss of stability and bringing the price of UST down to $0.97, cents, $0.03 cents under its stable price. Once this destabilization begins to take hold, that very same source sells another $650 million worth of UST. Coincidentally, withdrawals of UST across multiple exchanges are suspended, creating panic among holders of these two currencies. The UST Luna algorithm at this point is scrambling to stabilize the price of UST, which through that very algorithmic exchange ends up collapsing the price of Luna under $10 within 48 hours. We then see a mass of Luna shorts flood into the market via Binance Futures, alongside the overwhelming selling pressure of Luna and the further de-pegging of UST. 
Alongside this event, the initial $4 billion Bitcoin short position, paired with LFG liquidating its Bitcoin reserves, has a resounding effect across the entire crypto space. With Bitcoin dumping into a freefall like we have not seen in a very long time, and a well-known stablecoin being de-pegged from its stability with a multitude of occurrences, we see the entire market start to feel a downward selling pressure. As we have seen before, anything that affects Bitcoin affects the entire market, so this event occurring with a massive short in Bitcoin was undoubtedly going to draw the entire market down. And once other primary coins such as Ethereum, Cardano, and Solana started to dip, we saw every other coin under them ripple down as well. At the time of making this video, Luna is worth far less than a penny, and UST is shifting between 10 and 20 cents per coin. The current total supply of Luna has gone from a few hundred million to well over 7 trillion coins in circulation. A recovery to the previous price point of even $100 would result in a Luna market cap of over $700 trillion. And unthinkable and impossible occurrence. Doquan, however, has publicly stated that he and his team are working on measures to restabilize or even restart this currency. Doquan even went as far as to blatantly call out the billionaires in the crypto space, requesting that they outright try and attack his protocol. Only time will tell if Luna and UST can ever reach a fraction of what it once was, but the consensus is far from positive. We will certainly keep you at home up to date around any new happenings around this situation. If you liked or enjoyed this video or videos like it, smash that subscribe button and show some support for the channel. Now, have you ever wondered why Elon Musk decided to buy Twitter? You can easily follow the video in the center of your screen now to find out. As always though, stay profitable, don't let the FOMO bite, and keep hustling.